Martin Luther King Jr. once said that our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Ending discrimination against lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex people matters. It matters for individuals and families. It matters for communities. It matters for development. We will not reach our twin goals of ending extreme poverty by 2030 and boosting shared prosperity unless we address all forms of discrimination, including bias based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Violence against LGBTI people is fueled by prejudice, stereotypes, and ignorance. They are the reason that around the world, LGBTI people face barriers to education, employment, social protection, and good health. Children are bullied and expelled from school because of their actual or perceived sexual orientation and gender identity, or that of their family members. Workers are harassed or treated unequally in their jobs. In many countries, there's no legal protection against this abuse. As a result, victims are denied equal protection under the law and have no recourse for their suffering. As a physician, I'm also well aware of the devastating impact of discrimination on health outcomes. Suicide rates among LGBTI individuals are several times higher than among their heterosexual counterparts, in large part due to harassment, bullying, and rejection. They've been denied medical care or coerced into harmful treatments like forced sterilization, and they've been forced into unethical procedures mistakenly believed to change sexual orientation. These barriers and mistreatment create living conditions that prevent LGBTI people from reaching their full potential. The result is that communities are denied the economic, educational, social, and cultural contributions LGBTI people can and do make to society. This discrimination is therefore a direct threat to achieving the goals of ending poverty and boosting shared prosperity. LGBTI people should receive the basic services and rights due to all citizens. At the World Bank Group, we believe in combating discriminatory practices, creating inclusive public institutions, and challenging the stereotypes that underpin prejudice and violence. Today, on the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia, I urge you to join in the fight against discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. Only when we live in a world committed to equality can we truly achieve our goal of a world free from poverty.